Have you ever pondered about the source of your help in times of distress? Welcome, dear friends, to an exploration of Psalm 121, a beautiful segment of the King James Version of the Bible. This psalm, often referred to as a song of ascents, was traditionally sung by pilgrims as they journeyed towards Jerusalem, their hearts filled with faith and devotion. Psalm 121 is a beacon of comfort, a promise of divine protection that transcends time. It is a testament to the enduring belief in a higher power that watches over us, guides us, and offers solace in our moments of need. This psalm, all eight verses, is a profound reminder that help and protection come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So, let's embark on this journey together, delving into the depths of this ancient text. Dive with us into the soothing waters of Psalm 121 as we seek understanding and enlightenment. The psalmist begins his song with a gaze towards the hills, but why? In the first verse of Psalm 121, the psalmist declares, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. It's a poignant scene, isn't it? The psalmist standing in the valley looking up to the towering hills. But what's truly significant here is not the act of looking up, but the reason why he does so. You see, the hills here symbolize challenges, obstacles and trials that we all face in life. They loom large, casting shadows, and often they seem insurmountable. But the psalmist doesn't shy away from these hills. Instead, he lifts his eyes up towards them, acknowledging their presence. However, the psalmist doesn't stop there. He goes on to answer the question that naturally follows. From whence cometh my help? The answer is profound yet simple. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. This is a powerful declaration of faith. The psalmist recognizes that the same God who created the vast heavens and the earth is also the source of his help. It's a comforting thought, isn't it? No matter how formidable the hills appear, they are not beyond the power of the Creator. The psalmist's gaze towards the hills is not one of fear or despair, but of hope and assurance. It's a gaze that says, yes, the hills are there. Yes, they are high and challenging, but they are not beyond the reach of my helper. This verse is a potent reminder for us all. When we face our own hills, our own challenges, we need to remember where our help comes from. It comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So the next time you find yourself in the valley, looking up at the towering hills of life, remember the psalmist's words. Lift your eyes to the hills, acknowledge them, but also remember where your help comes from. The hills may seem daunting, but our help comes from the Lord, the creator of all. Imagine having a protector who never sleeps nor slumbers. Isn't that a comforting thought? Such is the promise in the third and fourth verses of Psalm 121. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The language is poetic, but the message is clear and profound. Let's delve deeper into these verses. When it says, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved, it paints a picture of a steadfast and unwavering presence. It suggests a protector who is so attentive that even the slightest stumble will not go unnoticed. This is a promise of stability, of a guide who will ensure that your path remains clear and unobstructed. Then we move on to the phrase, he that keepeth thee will not slumber. This is a declaration of God's constant vigilance. In the physical world, even the most devoted guardian must rest. But the psalmist tells us that God, our keeper, never succumbs to fatigue. His watchful eyes never close. His protective hand never falters. The fourth verse reinforces this sentiment. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Here, the psalmist extends God's vigilant care from the individual to the collective. All of Israel, signifying all of God's people, are under his ceaseless watch. The imagery of a sleepless protector is both comforting and empowering. It's a reminder that we are never alone, that we are always under the watchful eyes of a loving and protective force. It's a testament to God's unending commitment to our well-being, a commitment that doesn't waver even for a moment. This is not just a promise of protection, but also a call to trust, to trust in God's unwavering vigilance to trust that he is always there, guiding us, protecting us, and keeping us safe. In the hustle and bustle of life, it's reassuring to know that our keeper never dozes off. Have you ever felt the need for a shield, a protector who is always by your side? Now, imagine that protector as an omnipresent, all-powerful force like the shade that shields you from the harsh sun. This is the image that Psalm 121 verses 5 to 7 paints. 
Here, the psalmist declares, The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. This verse is a profound declaration of faith. It's a heartfelt acknowledgement of the Lord's protective nature. Just as the shade provides relief from the heat of the day, the Lord acts as a protective shield against the harsh realities of life. Imagine standing under a tree on a hot day, the leaves providing a cool respite from the sun. This is how the psalmist sees the Lord, not as a distant deity, but as an intimate protector. The Lord is not just any shade, but a shade on your right hand. The right hand traditionally symbolizes power and authority. So God's shade is not merely a refuge, but also a source of strength. Moving on to verse six, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Here, the psalmist extends the metaphor of God as a shade. It's not just the physical discomforts of day or night that God shields us from. The sun and moon here could be seen as metaphors for the trials and tribulations we face in life. The promise is clear whether it's the heat of conflict or the cold isolation of hardship, God's protection is constant. Finally, verse 7 assures us, The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. Here the psalmist underscores the depth of God's protection. It's not just our physical well-being that God cares for, but our very souls. This verse is a promise of divine preservation, a guarantee of God's unending care for us. Whether under the scorching sun or the chilling moonlight, we are never outside the protective shade of the Lord. No matter what we face, we can always find comfort, strength and protection in the presence of God. What if I told you that every step you take is under divine supervision? Yes. You heard it right. The divine presence accompanies us, not just in our spiritual endeavors, but in our everyday life as well. Our focus for today is verse 8 of Psalm 121, which reads, The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. This verse is a profound declaration of the enduring and encompassing care of God over our lives. It is a promise of divine protection that transcends time and space. When it says, The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in, it is not merely speaking of our physical movements. This verse encompasses all our actions, decisions and journeys, whether they are physical, emotional or spiritual. It's about our trips to the grocery store and our global adventures. It's about our steps into new relationships and our journey through life's trials. It's about our pursuit of dreams and our struggles with fears and failures. And when it says, from this time forth and even forevermore, it is a reminder that God's protection and guidance are not limited to certain conditions or time frames. His supervision is not a one-time event or a short-term arrangement. It is a perpetual and eternal promise. God's watchful care starts now, continues tomorrow, and extends into the countless tomorrows beyond what we can see or comprehend. This verse is a comforting assurance for all of us navigating the complexities of life. It reassures us that we are not alone in our journey. It encourages us to move forward with confidence, knowing that our steps are guided and guarded by divine wisdom. It reminds us that our lives, in all their intricacies and unpredictability, are under the vigilant watch of an ever-present God. So let's walk through life with conviction and courage, knowing that our paths are charted by a God who sees, knows and cares. Our comings and goings aren't just random wanderings, but a journey under divine supervision. So what does Psalm 121 really mean to us? This beautiful psalm in its entirety is a powerful testament of faith, a beacon of comfort and a celebration of divine assurance. It begins with a question, a deep yearning, a look towards the hills, and the answer is resounding. Our help comes from the Lord. The verses unfold the theme of God's constant protection. He doesn't slumber, ensuring that we are safeguarded at all times. He is the shade at our right hand, shielding us from the scorching trials of life. From dawn till dusk, from our coming in to our going out, our life's journey is under divine supervision. This psalm isn't just a series of verses, it is a promise, a divine covenant of preservation and help. It's an affirmation that in the grand tapestry of life we are not threads hanging loose but woven securely by the divine hand. In the grand tapestry of life, Psalm 121 serves as a comforting reminder that we are not alone, for help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Psalm 121 and want more uplifting content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.